hard to call a place home when you move around like crazy. No, I'm not a military brat, just the son of a very successful restaurant manager. I was born in Dallas and considered it my home because it's a city where I have lived in several different times in my lifetime. I've lived as far up north as Memphis, Tennessee and as far down south as Cancun, Quintana Roo. I lived in 15 cities, been to about 10 different schools, 6 different states and 2 countries. I consider myself Mexican American. I was born in the U.S., but both of my parents are from Mexico. My mom is from Monterrey, and my mom, my dad is from Reynosa. I have lived in a lot of cities where I simply felt like a minority. I have been in classes where I was probably the only Latino. Spanish was my first language, and I struggled in the U.S. because of that. After I was born and lived in the U.S. for a little while before I learned to speak, my family moved to Cancun. I went to school there, and then my family moved to Monterrey for a bit. After finishing kindergarten in Monterrey, my family moved to Memphis, Tennessee, which is where my struggle began. I spoke no English whatsoever, and because of that, the school I went to decided to hold me back instead of letting me begin first grade like I was supposed to. I spoke absolutely no English, and it was very difficult communicating with the teacher and other students. Even during recess, when all the classes would be out in the playground, there were only a few kids that looked like Latino but didn't even speak Spanish, so I felt so alone. I not only felt alone, but I felt embarrassed because I thought that my culture was not good enough. At times, I even felt like my culture was going to disappear. One moment where I felt extremely embarrassed was when I missed a bus while, while I lived in Memphis. I rode the bus to school every day. When school ended, everyone rode, that rode the bus would have to go and wait in the cafeteria for their bus to arrive. While we all waited, a teacher would usually hold up a number corresponding to the bus that just arrived. Unfortunately for me, one day the teacher was yelling out the numbers. Well, and as you guessed it, since I didn't speak English, I was freaking out and didn't know what to do. It was the first week of school for me in Memphis, so I didn't really notice who else was on my bus. I waited, and I was the last one, and the teacher took me to the principal. He asked me why I hadn't gone onto the bus, but I didn't understand. He asked me for my name, which is probably the only thing I understood, and then he looked at my info and called my parents. The principal personally took me home. I was a little boy and cried because I thought I was being kidnapped. When I saw that he pulled up to my apartment where my family lived, I was thrilled. It was a terrible feeling, not being able to communicate and feeling like an outsider. Little by little, I learned English in school. And from watching a lot of TV, I had conquered my first obstacle, language. I learned to speak and pronounce English perfectly, but that was not the only way out of feeling like an outsider. My culture was still in the way. No matter how well I spoke English, I was still one of the few Latinos in my class almost everywhere I went. I really had no place to call a true home where I felt comfortable. At the time, since I really didn't have a home, I considered Dallas my birthplace my home. I did not want to move to the valley because in my eyes it was a very small place. The valley has a lot of cities and everything, but in my eyes I like to see more immense metropolitan areas where it takes more than five minutes to get to the next city. That being said, I saw no fun in my future in the valley. I moved here in 8th grade and the first thing that I noticed was that there were a lot of Latinos here. I had never seen a place like this. Dallas has a lot of Latinos, but it's not like the amount here in the valley. I felt like I belonged here with my culture, my people, my first language, and my food. I felt comfortable because no matter where I went in the valley, I was surrounded by my kind. Speaking English and Spanish at any time or even in the t same conversation felt really strange, but to me, because this was something I had only experienced at home. Even though in a way, I'm still not a huge fan of the valley because it just doesn't have that big city feel that I'm used to. I am proud to admit that I feel like this is my home because I do not feel like my culture is below any other.